Hi, I'm Ryan from iThingLand, where WordPress and WooCommerce come to life. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a scheduled sale date for variation using the WooCommerce Bulk Variation Editing plugin. Imagine that Black Friday is right around the corner and as a marketing strategy, you decided to offer 25% off on Blue Large and Red Large products in the clothing category from November 23rd to November 25th. Are you ready? Let's get into it. First, you need to filter the product, so open the filter form by clicking on the filter icon in the toolbar, then go to Category slash Tag slash Taxonomy tab. Select Clothing from the Product Categories and select blue and red for the product color and select large for the product size and then click on get products now you need to mark some or all of them in the table then click on the manage variations to see the variation bulk actions form To schedule the sale date, you can use three methods. Scheduling sale date for one variation, scheduling sale dates for multiple variations, and lastly, scheduling a sale date for all selected product variations. Let's explain them one by one. For scheduling a sale date for one variation, you can quickly scroll over the products by using navigators at the top of the table to find the right product and variation then click on the edit icon so that the bulk actions form is displayed. And you can find the sale price, the sale date from, and the sale date to fields in this form. Open the condition box in front of the sale price and select the decrease by percent from regular option and type 25 in the text box. Click on the calendar box in front of the sale date from field and set up November 23rd in the built-in calendar and you're going to do the same thing for the sale date 2 field and set up November 25th. And finally, by clicking on the Do Bulk button, the sale price will be applied to that variation as we scheduled. Now let's check our changes on the product page for V-neck t-shirts and go to Variation section and check the green variation and as you can see, our sale price has been applied and the starting date and the ending date have been applied as well. Okay, let's go to the next method, scheduling sale dates for multiple variations. Mark some variations in the table and then click on the edit icon at the top of the table and click on selected variations. The Variations Bulk Edit form is opened again and you can repeat the previous steps to schedule the sale date for the selected variations. For example, we can select Decrease by Regular and set 10% and set 23rd to 25th. And then click on do bulk button and the sale price will be applied to these variations as we schedule now the final method is scheduling a sale date for all selected products variations you can easily choose all variations of selected products from the drop down list of the edit icon at the top of the table then you can repeat the previous steps in the variations bulk edit form 
to schedule a new sale date for all selected product variations. For example here, I'm gonna select decrease by value and set 5 and again set the same date and then click on do bulk as you can see the sale price will be applied to these variations as we scheduled.